I'm Dr. Sarah, staff veterinarian for Life's Abundance. In this episode of Pet Talk, I will be talking about feline hyperthyroidism, the most common endocrine disorder reported in cats. Feline hyperthyroidism is most often caused by small tumors in the thyroid gland that result in an overproduction of thyroid hormones. In healthy cats, the amount of hormone released into the blood by the thyroid gland is regulated by the pituitary gland in the brain. But in hyperthyroidism, the thyroid gland becomes unregulated and continuously pours large amounts of hormones into the blood. Compared with other feline diseases, hyperthyroidism is generally easy to identify. The symptoms include hair loss, increased appetite with weight loss, vomiting, irritability, um, and increased vocalization. Some of these signs may initially lead a pet parent to believe that their cat has kidney disease or diabetes, but a simple blood test can clear up any confusion. Hyperthyroidism is a slow and insidious disease, which can cause life-threatening heart problems or blindness if left untreated. So if your cat has been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, there are three general options of treatment to consider. The first option to consider for treatment is surgery. Removal of the affected glands is considered curative. However, some kitties are not good surgical candidates and there are the normal risks that are associated with surgery. Um, in addition, the parathyroid glands are closely associated with the thyroid glands and these glands regulate body calcium. Any kitty going, undergoing surgery to remove an um, overactive thyroid gland needs to be monitored closely following surgery for any imbalances in body calcium. A second option that is commonly chosen by pet parents is medication. Tapazole, an oral or topical medication, um, can help regulate an overactive thyroid gland, but it must be given continuously for the rest of the cat's life. Should you choose medication to treat your cat's hyperthyroidism, please work closely with a veterinarian to monitor your cat for any side effects and to ensure the proper dosage is always given. A third option for treatment is radioactive iodine. This treatment is generally considered safe and doesn't produce unwanted side effects. Unfortunately, it can be pricey and will require that your cat be hospitalized for four to five days um, during the treatment. In this treatment, radioactive iodine is injected under your cat's skin where it travels to the thyroid and kills abnormal cells. This option is a good one to choose if your cat is not a good surgical candidate or has experienced negative side effects to the medication. So those are the three general options available to cat lovers. Fortunately, feline hyperthyroidism is an active area of research and veterinary colleges worldwide are discovering even more effective methods to treat the disease. I hope you have found this episode on feline hyperthyroidism helpful and informative. As always, I appreciate you for watching and check back soon for more episodes of Pet Talk with Dr. Sarah.